Hello there, Eruner here, and today we will review Perhaebi faction. Perhaebi is led by Macheon, which is slightly weaker hero. My, he is quite good at attacking, but with healing abilities and defensive abilities he is able to support his uh, troops around very well. Perhaebi roster is very unique and right now we are starting with healers. Yes, this unit is able to heal your units. It's just 15 hit points per second. It's 15 of total. Not, not every model is getting 15 uh, hit points. But you can heal up your unit during combat or out of combat. You have to be very careful, there are only 30 of them. Uh, so this is much smaller unit, much weaker in the combat. Uh, but they are able to support your units very nicely. And what is unique about this? Uh, you can have only one and you you need just one, because if you had more of these healers, it still would be just 15, uh, no, not more. Then we got Militia, very weak unit, which I do not recommend, especially when we got Young Spears in this roster, which is solid charger. But let's go back to the As Asclepius Chosen. This unit is another healer. It's upgrade of the previous one. It improves the healing even more. So 30 hit points per second. Uh, they also have very little models, so you have to be careful. And again, you cannot have more of them and you don't need more of them because the because unit will be getting 30 hit points anyway, not more. But you can uh, have healers and Asclepius chosen together for their combined 15 plus 30 hit points per second. You can have both of them together, around one unit, to heal it uh, much quicker. So this is right. Brent, uh, unique ability for this faction and <coughs> let's see the other infantry units perhaps Anton watch is a very fast but weak unit it's not a flanker but you can heal it up so you have to retreat do, do some battle and retreat from the battle thanks to their light and speed they are able to disengage quickly uh, they might not have amazing charge, so that's why we go with young, with young spears for the chargers. For frontline, we got Perhaben and Levi Spearmen, which have quite weak weapon and attack defense. But again, with their own battlefield healing, they can heal up, uh, but you need to switch them from the combat. Uh, we got access to standard spearmen which is a terrible option. Uh, I do not recommend using Spearmen in campaign, nor in multiplayer battles. Then from the Watchtower we got Light Swordsmen, which are your only flanker unit, and you have to use it as flanker, otherwise the stats are not good enough. In the mid game we got access to Shielded Spearmen, which is standard Achaean frontline, uh, you can uh, use two-handed mod for nice charging and damage, otherwise it's a solid frontline. As a frontline alternative, we got Perhabe and Spearmen, who are lighter and much faster. And they still have battlefield healing, but they have flanking defeats improved, which is essential or much better when battle is very messy or when you are getting flanked so their defense will not drop so much as 
for the shielded spearmen. And for our chargers or flankers, we got Perhabia and City Watch, who got these stats, but the weapon is very important. You shall be using this against swords and axes, as this is not so good uh, charger, but very good counter unit. Again, with battlefield healing, you can combine this with your healers uh, outside of the battle very nicely. In the la late game, we got Spears of Trika, very defensive uh, spears with uh, solid weapon. Uh, they also have battlefield healing, flanking defense. But what will be interesting for this faction is this Inspire Fierce Resolve ability. Fierce Resolve is uh, amazing ability for chargers or for offensive units. It gives a lot of charge and attack and damage. But this is a frontline unit. That's why it's the Inspire means you can uh, use this ability for your ally. And I will show you the best candidate for this ability is Sacred Guard of Trika, uh, who is uh, having very strong combat stats and amazing weapon, amazing spear. It, it is able to delete swords or axes easily. And 23 charge is not enough, but if we give them a fierce resolve, your Sacred Guard of Trika is going to be amazing and dealing tons of damage quickly. Let's have a look on the abilities. We are disciplined and encouraging, so morale will be not a problem. We can heal outside of battle, especially if we win the first battle very quickly. And on top of that, we can give somebody ability to the last. So some other unit uh, will be getting plus 10 attack and plus 10 defense, which is very useful, for example, for your front line. So this goes, this front line and uh, dualist or charger, they have abilities to, to improve each other amazingly. Let's review the missiles. As Akian faction we got Akian slingers, they are very good, uh, valuable, useful uh, unit, always recommended. Uh, Perhabi comes with Perhabi and light slingers, which have slightly better projectiles and they are able to hold better. And they are able to skirmish thanks to battlefield healing. So this will make this will be like Ekian slings, but you can reuse it and skirmish much better. For the archers, we caught Perhabian hunters, who are very similar to bowmen. Let me show you bowmen. Bowmen is a very weak trash unit, terrible one, but Perhabian hunters are a better upgrade with slightly better damage and stats. What is the most important is their speed and battlefield healing, which makes them very good skirmishing unit. Quite cheap, you can do some attack, do some fighting, go back with your speed and heal up and then repeat. Much better unit valuable than the trash bowmen. In the mid game we got Perhabian archers, who got standard range and damage. Uh, very good speed paired with battlefield healing means you will be actively using Perhabian archers for skirmishing. And the late game upgrade is Chosen Archers of Trika. Uh, much slower unit, you are not going to use them for fast maneuvering. They don't need it. They got very good range damage, a lot of armor and battlefield healing on top of that, so they will win duels without running around. Also, what makes them 
very expensive is they are very heavy they are able to stop uh, chariots and they have eager for blood which gives them more melee attack and more morale and look at this 40 attack 40 defense and very strong weapon so once you run out of ammunition which is plenty then you got solid uh, front line or solid uh, infantry unit which is able to do a lot of damage so late game of perhab is amazing and early game you are going to play with healers a lot we also got access to chariots as Achaeans we got access to medium chariots very good and reinforced chariots also good uh, for the skirmish chariots I do not recommend it them because 12 models is not enough to compensate this uh, relatively okay javelin damage that's it and now I will show you one simple simple battle to showcase you uh, Perhaebi faction against standard tier 3 settlement garrison so in first step we want our front line we we are going to do some skirmishing against Achaean slings since our light slings are better and they will heal up we are already prepared to flank enemies and our hero is uh, using light spears with strong weapon let me slow this down now the perhapian spearman is having flanking defense everybody got flanking defense and as you can see this is already a messy battle so we can do the flanking let me stop this 48 shoot the spearman oh look at this armored spearman the strong late game unit has dropped defense to 17 and it is because it is engaged with one and the second per harbor spearman so our guys are able to do flanking right in the front line and with their flanking defense improved they are not going to suffer much and this one spearman will help against poor spearman so that will be a very interesting battle <coughs> as perhaps you can afford having such messy front line meanwhile our hero is not gonna bother with uh, terrible spearmen instead he can go and charge and kill enemy missiles right away as you can see we have uh, moved our hunters into great positions so they can freely move and shoot our hero is going to delete this arch this bowman let's watch it it's <coughs> it's a few seconds and uh, archers are already routing that's why these uh, spears are good against missiles they got bonus versus swords we can afford more flanking opportunities to grind this front line uh, this city watch is having bonus versus swords and slingers are using sword so this is perfect unit against enemy missiles what else do we have here we will Victory. Close we, to taste. As Homer said, we are going to win very soon. We just have to keep grinding. And let's have a look. We got spearmen involved here, so they can heal up our perhaps spearmen. And enemy hero is routing. Perfect. Our hero is giving more bonuses and buffs to our unit, so we are able to hold. Our hero did a lot of damage and everybody is routing. Amazing. You will have a lot of decisive and heroic victories 
with this faction just keep using healers and messy battles and so on. That is all, see you later.